welcome everyone to this edition of From Around the World Fridays, and uh, today we're starting the Cuba series. So um, I recently went to Cuba, and I'm here to uh, to share a little bit about the trip, um, the things we did, some thoughts I had from the trip, um, and, and tips to help you, um, uh, if you want to go to Cuba, help you get there and, and make it a, a fun experience. Um, this was one of the most amazing experiences of my life, to be honest with you. Um, so I really, you know, hope and encourage, uh, everyone to go and, and experience it for themselves. Um, so you can see here, we, um, had a plane, I, I was flying into, uh, into Miami, um, beautiful site there. Um, and then flying to Cuba, uh, pretty cool to see Havana on the screen. Um, and then walked around, uh, the city for the first, uh, little bit. Um, we ended up doing a walking tour that first night we were there. And uh, beautiful, got to explore Old Havana, uh, learn a lot about the history, some of the, the key figures in the history, not just uh, during the revolution, but well before then, um, relationship with the U.S., that sort of thing. And uh, yeah, it was really, really fun, uh, beautiful down there. I mean, it was in the 80s, it was humid, um, it was warm, and it was, I was really glad to be in the warmth there. Um, then of course you get to see the the classic cars there, which was awesome. Um, got you'll see some more classic cars here in a bit. Um, but yeah, a lot of little squares um, around uh, Old Havana there. And uh, yeah, one of the interesting facts I learned was that um, uh, at, at one point uh, prior to the Civil War in the U.S., um, Cuba was actually their uh, politicians in Washington were trying to add Cuba in as. Um, or I guess I should say politicians in the South were trying to add Cuba in as, as another state um, in order to keep the balance of states for or against slavery in favor of slavery, uh, which is pretty interesting. So that, that didn't end up working out, obviously, but um, kind of an interesting little factoid there. Like I said, we learned a lot about the uh, the history of Cuba. Um, learned about some of the key figures. Uh, Jose Marti uh, is probably the most well known, um, big hero of Cuba. Kind of helped bring Cuba together. Um, you know, for a lot of years, Cuba is a very long country, um, and so you know people were were really spread out uh, throughout the country um, for much of its history, and, and kind of still are, I guess. Um, but yeah, so, uh, you know, they, they were under Spanish rule, colonized by Spain, and, um, you know, tried to win their independence, like a lot of other uh, countries in Latin America. And uh, Jose Marti and uh, Cespedes, um, they, they helped kind of bring, bring the country together and, and help them uh, eventually uh, win their independence from Spain. So um, that was some interesting history there. Um, like I said, beautiful squares. Um, you know, you could, it was just, it was just beautiful and everything's colorful and, and, you know, you got the old architecture and everything. Um, just a beautiful evening to be walking around and the sunset was great too. We also got to learn a lot about, uh, Hemingway and his, uh, his time there in Cuba. Uh, this house here is, or a uh, hotel is where he stayed, um, when he originally was, uh, down there in Cuba. Um, a lot, of, a lot of Hemingway stuff around around Havana there. Um, so yeah, it was a pretty interesting uh, walk. Anyways, please, we're filming now the last quarter of the day. And we, we're not all right, so then we made our way to uh, the San Isidro here, uh, which used to be, um, I guess, a brothel, uh, a gigolo uh, named Urini. Uh, that's where he used to uh, do his business. <laughs> but anyways, now it's a really good restaurant. Um, we were up on the top floor on the roof and um, beautiful view and, and just a perfect night to be out and enjoy some good food and uh, some mojitos. So uh, yeah, a lot of fun. And then we uh, actually went to a bar 
um, afterwards, which I don't think I have video for, but, um, or no, maybe did, we didn't go out that night. Anyways, you'll see a bar in a, in a bit. What's up, everyone? It's a beautiful morning in Havana, Cuba. I'm running here. Stop here. I'm running along the, I think it's called the Malecon. Uh, the big promenade here. Uh, this is my view. It's beautiful. Beautiful morning here. It's about 7.45. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, so every morning I, uh, I went for a run. Uh, most of the time it was, it was along, actually, yeah, every day it was along the Malecon, which is, uh, a street right on the water. Um, it goes for a long distance. I never did the whole thing, um, but I'd run in either way, uh, you know, depending on the day. Um, and so this, these pictures are of the first morning I ran, um, I think. Uh, I think it was like four and a half miles or five miles, something like that, that I ran. Um, and to get down to the Malecon, I had to run like, I don't know, a third of a mile or so. Um, and so you go by some of these uh, statues and monuments uh, on the way there. But uh, just beautiful, beautiful to see. You know, I, I didn't make the sunrise, but uh, slightly after the sunrise um, to see, you know, see the Havana at that time of day, um, you know, see the water, uh, just it was just a day in paradise. <laughs> um, and, uh, yeah, I stopped to take a, a lot of pictures there as well. Uh, but there's monuments all along the, and statues all along the, the street there, along the water. So I stopped at various points to, to look at that. Um, and then you'll see here in a minute, uh, we had a really good breakfast at the hotel. Uh, the hotel we stayed at, or the, the casa that we stayed at, um, La Posada de Chacon, uh, amazing the staff was amazing the food was amazing the drinks were amazing it just it was a, a highly recommend highly recommend uh, but the breakfast every morning was just awesome just fresh fruit eggs ham cheese it was perfect um yeah so you'll see a picture here in a second So one of the big highlights of the trip and something I definitely recommend uh, every tourist to do. It is definitely a touristy thing, but it's a lot of fun. Uh, cruise around in, in a classic car. Um, so we got to basically spend almost a whole day, uh, you know, cruising around in the classic cars, going to different uh, spots around the city, um, which you'll see. Um, but yeah, you can see the beautiful cars. They've uh, they've kept them going for all these years, 70 years plus years later now, um, and they're still running. So that's, that was pretty exciting to see. Um, I got to go in this, uh, in this red and white one here. Um, but yeah, just beautiful. And it was with the sun beating down on you. It's nice to get that fresh air, uh, coming at you and, um, good way to experience the city for sure. The first stop we made in the classic cars is we went to the, uh, to the Spanish, uh, fortress <clears throat> across the water from where we were at. Um, it was meant to guard Havana Bay there. And, uh, yeah, you'll see some pictures from that here. And, um, yeah, it's, uh, uh, beautiful. You could, you got a good view of, of Havana as well. Um, so we got a lot, a lot of pictures there.
So as you can see, uh, definitely uh, enjoyed the cars and the views. Uh, took way too many pictures of those, but hopefully you enjoyed the pictures. And I'm going to leave this episode uh, with a couple videos of me in the car uh, and then the view of, of Havana from the fortress. And next week uh, we'll, we'll be spending some more time in the car. Um, and then going on to what we did that evening, which was a ton of fun too. Um, so stay tuned for that. There's a, this is just the beginning of it. Um, it's building up to some, some very fun things. So stay tuned next week for more of that. Uh, but anyways, hope you guys enjoyed and I will see y'all next time. <laughs> Oh, yeah.